happens here. You ready, Ace? Let's go, buddy. Right. I'll take this side. You work that side. Okay. Okay, buddy. Here we go. What do you got, buddy? Huh? What do you got? What do you got? Let's go, Sasha. Come on. Find him, Sasha. Find him. Search, buddy. Search. Search. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Seek, buddy. Seek. Seek, buddy. Come on. Seek. The dog here is a canine or a pinwheel, Dan. Hey, it might look funny to you, but as soon as he locks on, Go get him! Go get him! Help me! Help me, please! Oh, Good boy! Help me! Get him off of me! Help me! Oh! Yeah, pinwheel, huh? Come here, come on. Oh, help me get him off of me! Oh! Oh! Good boy. That's a good boy. Come on. Come on. Welcome back to Good Day Everett with Jimmy Bixler. Are you ready, Jimmy? Bring it on. All right, go get it. Go get it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Get up now. Wow. If uh, Pooch had his way with me, I would have ended up at Miller Memorial in room 402 and 403. Oh, actually, Ace would never cross that line. In fact, no police dog ever would. Well, yeah. that's good to know. Give him a treat. Okay. There you go, Ace. There you go. That's better than my arm. <laughs> we like to say that we train him just to restrain him. Well, that's good to know. Now. I understand that Ace's sense of smell is 40,000 times sharper than ours? Yeah, that's correct. One whiff of your hand, and he could track you down in your seat, anywhere in Safeco Field. Really? I can't even find my car after a game. <laughs> now, uh, before the show, you did mention that you're having trouble tracking down at least one criminal. Who strikes while people are on vacation. A robber with a colorful nickname. Yeah, that's correct, Jimmy. Right now, we have a prowler working in our county that so far has eluded all of our track downs. Uh, we've kind of dubbed him Goliath because, well, he's, he's built, um... Just like me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm more like David. Goliath is the big one. <laughs> right, well, we'll be back in a second, uh, and when we do, we'll, uh, we'll have an interview with Face, and we'll ask him how he got promoted from K7 to K8 and finally to K9. Ace, good boy. Wow. Looks fabuloso. Thank Mrs. Brody. Hmm? My homework teacher? Oh, right. You're supposed to grade me. Like, did I burn it or anything dumb? Hmm. Hmm. I'm giving you a D plus. <laughs> For delicious plus. <laughs> Hilarious. Is that around? It's okay. I mean, only one parent has to sign the grade sheet, so. over and stuff. Hey, hey! That's a distraction, okay? It's roasted chicken with garlic and black figure reduction at La Julia, actually. What? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Dad? Mm-hmm. Can I handle Ace at the canine competition this year? Oh, that's not a very good idea, honey. But I even read those boring training manuals. Yeah, I mean, you're 13 years old, okay? 14 in 29 days. Please, honey, Dad. Honey, Ace needs to feel really comfortable. 
when he's in a competition. Uh, why can't you just trust me for once? It's not a matter of trust, Julia. It is. You don't trust me with your stupid dog. Uh, Julia. Forget I even asked. Honey, honey, stay. Honey, I'll think about it, OK? Translation, no. That went great. Teenage daughters, teenage daughters. That's what it's all about. Yes, I know. Honey, it would have meant so much if you just spent a few minutes with us. I mean, the poor kid spent two hours fussing with that recipe. Oh. Off. Off. Dan. Come on. Come on, Ace. Hey, hey, come on. Down. Go to bed. Sorry, honey. Sorry. Ace, down to your bed. Down to your bed. I'm not 100% sure I would have gone with bile green. On my honeymoon, I'm having my nails done every day. And my toes. Really? Well, you might want to consider squeezing in a few other activities. Where'd you go, Mom? On your honeymoon. Nowhere, actually. Nowhere? Well, it turned out the canine unit needed your dad, so we postponed our trip to Tahiti. And then I guess we just never got around to rescheduling it. But you have to have a honeymoon, right? I mean, to be officially married and everything. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Torco. Didn't I tell you not to come back here until your membership dues were up to date? <clears throat> the free ride's over. Let's go. <clears throat> you have three minutes to clear out. I assume you can count to three. I assume you can count to 50. What? Oops, my bad. Dan. Okay, we're on our way. You ready, Ace? Let's go, buddy. Come on, Seek. Come on, come on, boy. Hey, Dan. Hey, hey, what do you got? What do you got? Maybe we'll get something this time, Frank, huh? You got it? You got it, boy? Come on. Here we go. Let's get him. Let's get him. Search. Search. Here you go, buddy. You got him? There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. You got it? You got it, buddy? Let's go, let's go. Anything? What do you got? Come on, buddy, come on. Gonna be a tough one to crack.
This one leaves us plenty of nothing. Leaves behind something nasty for the dogs, though. Let me see, buddy. Let me see. You ready, boy? Let's go. Peace. Up. Through, 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 through. Over, over, over. Up, up. Good boy. Again. Peace. You got him? Shoot, Buck. Go, go. Good boy. Shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up. Good boy, good boy. Up. Good boy, good boy. Go get it. Search, go get it, go get it. Search, search. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, that's my tool. Yeah, get it, get it. I've studied so much, I can't even remember if a polynomial is a number or an island in the Pacific. Who wants to play Fantasy Fever? That reminds me. You still have my Inspector Dreadnought's clue pursuit. Which one? Number four, Unfinished Business. You've had it for like a million weeks. It's around here somewhere. Well, can you give it back to me soon? Ace! Ace, hey. my man! Does he know any tricks? My dad says I'm not supposed to teach him any tricks because he's like his partner and shield and everything, but watch this. Hey, you. Hi there. Hi there. Hello. Good. Yes, it's our little secret, right, Ace? He's pretty big. How much does he weigh? Exactly 122 pounds, because my dad, like, measures out every single thing he feeds him. Is that where he got shot? Yep, right through the ear. On the second day my dad and Ace started working together, this car thief guy tried to shoot my dad, but Ace saw it and he jumped up and pushed my dad out of the way just in time. Ace got a medal at this banquet. Hmm. Val, relax. I know he's a police dog and everything, but he's as playful as a puppy. Here. What like this? Go get it! No! Hey! What happened? Is everybody okay? Huh? Back, back, back up off the glass, back off the glass. Hey, easy. Mind telling me what you were doing? I just... I wanted to show Val how sweet. Do you understand what would have happened if he'd gotten glass in his paws? Dad, I know. Do you know how that would have affected everything? Dad. My safety, my life depends on him being in perfect shape during a track down. Dad, I feel terrible. He is not a house pet. I know, okay, Dad. He's my partner, my shield. Do you understand that? I know. I'm sorry. Please, do you forgive me? Do you? I said I'm sorry, Dad. Do you forgive Julia, me? Julia, you and your friends need to go outside right now. <laughs> Julia. Hey, honey. You didn't come down, so I brought dinner to you. Dad? Mm-hmm. Could you, like, not be in here right now? Sure. Does this thing have to be here, right in the hallway? Sorry, honey, I'm gonna do first thing tomorrow. Okay? How's your day? All right. 
made a bunch of pasta that's in the fridge. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have to talk. About? You know about what? Did she tell you how it happened? What she was trying to do with Ace? Ben, she's hurting. She was showing off in front of her friends. They knocked over the cabin. There was glass all over the floor. It could have got in Ace's paws. She made a mistake. She apologized, but you didn't forgive her. That's not how we do things in this family. Okay, but she needs to understand that that dog is not just her house pet. He is my partner, He's my, my shield. He's my shield. Yes, Dan, we all know that speech by heart. But what does that make Julia? She needs your trust and your time. You don't spend enough time with her. So you're talking now as my wife or as my therapist? As Julia's mom. Do you know what she asked me this morning while I was braiding her hair? Why can't he just love me one tenth as much as he loves Ace? Some for you. Yeah, Attention, Sector 8 right, units. Got a 506 at 44 Frontera. Respond, please. This is Harding. Roger that. Is it Goliath? Affirmative. <laughs> All right, we're on it. Let's get him, buddy. Let's get him. <laughs> I'll head east. All, all right, good luck. Let's go. Let's get him, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get him, buddy. There you go. Hey, you got him, buddy. Stay with me. What do you see? You there? Huh? Ambulance here immediately. Oh. 
still sweeping in now. Yeah. Yeah. I can do it, you ready? Let's lift them up. I don't know, there's something wrong with this whole scenario. This dog's got an exemplary track record. Dan Harding's one of our finest officers, and this guy Torco's got a rap sheet longer than the kid's Christmas wish list. All right, so we need to do a little damage control. Let's have a press conference immediately. And if there's anything else, just refer it back to my office. You can't hold the guy without something linking him to the scene. This has got to be Goliath. I've got a newspaper delivery guy who saw him. You got a delivery guy whose driver's license says he's required to wear glasses, which he wasn't. His eyewitness testimony is worthless. <sighs> Look, Torco's lawyer is shrewdly playing this as an attack on an unarmed citizen out for his morning hike. Threatening a monster lawsuit unless the charges are dropped, which is what my boss is recommending. I'm sorry, Joe. It makes two of us. Look, he's a repeater. You'll get him on the next one. Of course, the dog will have to be put down. Down? Euthanized. Afraid it's the law. Once they go bad, they're an obvious danger to the public. Four-legged liability. Dan? There's no way Ace would have just attacked him. Ace is an animal. Animals get mad, animals bite. No, not Ace. It's out of my hands. Come on, Captain, you cannot let him do this. Look, the best I can do is arrange for you to be there with him when, you know, when it happens. They're taking him up to Spokane and that's that. Spokane? It seems this thing has to be done strictly according to procedures. The canine clinic and training facility are in Spokane, so that's where they have to take him. I've uh, asked him to send you his ashes, so at least you'll have uh, a souvenir. <sighs> I'd like to drive. Myself, I mean, to Spokane. Wouldn't it be easier to say goodbye here? Not for Ace. All right. Hey, Dan. I, uh... Just, uh... I'm sorry. The way this thing turned out.
Easy, boy. Easy, buddy, easy. Okay. Could we, uh, could you just use this? It says in the report this one's a biter. He won't bite you, but I might. Can't take that off. He goes with dignity. Unbelievable. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Coming in, because if you are, I gotta wear one of these hair things. No. C could you just give me a minute, please? Yeah, sure. Easy, easy, buddy. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, buddy. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just a sleeping med makes it easier for everybody. We're just about done here. You believe this guy? <laughs> You're feeling sleepy now, huh?
could have used it to slash himself. I mean, it's possible, right? It's just a piece of barbed wire fencing. One of the workmen probably just tossed it aside. Even if there were once prints or tissue traces, the river's long since washed it clean. What about that surveillance video that your people are working on? What about that? Well, the Forest Service didn't probably maintain the security cam at that site. We'll see if Photo Digital can salvage anything. Mind a little advice? You're looking for something because you want it to be there. Well, it ain't there. I even checked the wound profile for you, but there's nothing inconsistent with dog bite. I'm looking at a dog attack, Dan. Textbook. Sweetie, he'll be here. Highway's probably jammed. I wanted to be with him so bad. I know. Me too. But Dad needed, I don't know, privacy. From us? I don't get it. Dad. Hi. Are you okay, honey? Do you want to talk about it? Julia cooked dinner, something special. Yeah, I, I wish I had napped that, honey, but I'm, I'm just really tired. It's those stuffed potatoes you like, the ones with the special caper thingies. So... Sweetie, let's let Dad rest a little, OK? I'm sure he'll be good and hungry later. He didn't kiss you, Mom. Harding residence? Yeah. Who are you? We're from the Clarion, darling. I'm looking for your daddy. Why? I just want to ask him a few questions, is all. About that guy who says Ace attacked him? There you go. He's lying, obviously. Uh, excuse me? Ace would never hurt anyone. You can write that down if you like. You're Officer Harding's official spokesman, are you? Spokesperson. I see. 
tell you what, I will write that down. You run and get your daddy. My dad doesn't want to talk to you. He's busy. <laughs> you know, I'm getting just a little bit tired of this. Your daddy's wonderful dog tried to kill an unarmed citizen. And the people of this town deserve to know the facts. Don't you think? Your job is to get people to open up and talk about stuff, right? Uh, yeah, yes, that's part of it. You sure don't do it very well, do you? Sad he is. He looks so depressed. It's, I don't know, scary. Well, honey, he needs time to adjust. I know. You know what I wish? What do you wish? I wish Dad was happy again. I'm sure you're ready for a new canine. I think I am, yeah. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get a few dogs in for you to test drive. On one condition. Officer Harding's youthful spokesperson, identifying herself as Harding's daughter, denied that the police canine ace ever attacked Mr. Torco. Julia? I don't want you or your daughter talking to the press. The DA's muscling me to keep a lid on this until we get enough evidence to file. Fine. And Frank Burgess told me about your big find, the piece of wood with the barbed wire. Just stay out of the Torco case. Be too close, you understand? Yes, sir, Cap. Get him, get him, get him, go, 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 hey, come here, up, 
you're a good looking dog. All right, you're a good looking pooch. Mm Honey, what are you doing? Uh, what's Alan? You are not supposed to be reading that. Dad, how am I supposed to learn what it's really like to be a cop? You never let me go on ride-alongs with you. You never let me come to the station. There's a lot of bad things out there that I just don't want you exposed to, okay? Aren't you proud of what you do? I am. Yes, honey, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, but I have a lot of work to do here, okay? And that's what it's like really being a cop. Feeling like you have a ton of homework to do and never having enough time to do it. Does that sound like fun? So what's that one? <laughs> it's a white powder that cooks and, and food makers use to keep things like pickles crisp in their jar. It's really, really common. You can find it in just about every supermarket in town. But why is it found at every crime scene? It's a very strong lung and eye irritant, especially to dogs, which is why the bad guy we're trying to chase down here, he's, he's using it to throw off our dog's noses. Smart. Yeah. What's an ingression device? Cop talk for the specific way a perp gains entry. Uh, in this case, a glass cutter. He cuts a hole in the glass, reaches inside, unlocks the door, window, whatever he can get his hands on. You think he's Goliath, don't you? It doesn't matter what I think, honey. The DA doesn't think that we have enough evidence linking him to the crimes yet. Dad? Hmm. Why did you go back to where it happened? What do you mean? It says right here, Officer Daniel Harding made an unauthorized inspection of SOI. The scene of incident. He unofficially presented Dr. Burgess with a 24-inch length of barbed wire attached to a fence post he speculated could have been used by Mr. Torco to produce his serious dog bite wounds. You think Ace is innocent too, right? Can I help you prove it, please? Honey. Maybe there's no evidence on the barbed wire, but he must have made some mistake. I mean, you always say that every bad guy makes at least one mistake, and it's up to the cops to figure out what it is. Hey, you want to help me, honestly? You let me get back to work here, honey, okay? I have a ton of stuff to go through, and I really need to concentrate. Well, you're looking for a link, right? You need to link him to a crime scene or some, I don't know, but. Yeah, honey, I do, but here's the thing. I, I can't concentrate with you here, okay? I need to do my work. It's my homework. You do your homework, okay? Thank you, I appreciate what you're doing. Find the perpetrator face down on the ground. 
with his forearm held in the dog's mouth. And you recovered the cash box. Well, no, I didn't see any cash. Really? Well, do you mind if we then check your pockets, deputy? <laughs> we found the cash. We found the cash. And so one church's cash box has been safely recovered today. The bake sale, a complete success, it. all thanks to this mysterious stray dog's natural crime-fighting abilities. This is Inga Dad! Henry. Mom, I come here! For Danny, you there? What, honey? What's the matter? Studio to you, Jack I just saw Ace well, on TV in Wenatchee. He went to a church bake sale. Ace went to a church bake sale? Not went, went. I mean, he caught somebody trying to steal a cash box at this church bake sale thing. The church thing? Honey, you're not making any sense. I just saw him. He's alive. I would know him anywhere. That's not possible. Dad, if anyone could pull off an escape from that canine clinic, it's Ace. You know it's true. That's nonsense, okay? Why can't you just trust me for once? Honey? Julia, it's not possible, okay? I'm sorry, honey. You got that? You smell that? Huh? Okay, Perito. Good police work. Let's see if you can track down my boss. Okay. Hey, Larissa, check this out. Okay. Este perro's increíble. That's it, boy. Pick up the scent. He's under something already. Huh? Where you got, boy? Where you going? What is it? Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Te voy a dar un plato de arroz con frijoles de los cubanos. Watch this. It's a smart animal. Toma listo y tú. This is real police work here. We should all be taking notes from this. It's a very special animal. I believe in you, man. You can do it. Look at you. Yes, I believe in him. He's going to change things around here. This is the start of a new era. Okay. Sorry, boss. There's a doggy. He smells something suspicious. Bruce. Good boy. Get him out of here. Bad boy. Okay, let's go. Move on. There's nothing to see here. It's okay with everything. You need a hand with anything? No! It's called alum, but I found out it's actually this chemical called potassium aluminum triphosphate. Aluminum tri who's faith? Triphosphate. You should see the stuff it's actually used for. It's used to make dyes stick to cloth and stuff. They use it in water filters for ponds. It's even used in those white styptic pencil things dads use to stop the bleeding when they cut themselves shaving. Julia, you're sounding like the world's expert on alum. Well, my dad says cops never know which tiny detail could be the big thing they're looking for to crack a case. Hey, you know the Goliath robberies? Yeah. Well, they think the guy's Torco, but they can't prove it yet. Yeah? And my dad? He thinks Ace was framed. So do I. Framed? By Torco, to keep from going to jail. I gotta go. say this was? Me? Oh, um, I'm Captain Joe Porter's executive assistant. I'm just calling to confirm that you completed the euthanasia procedure as required on one of our canines. Dog named Ace. Got a case ID number? 84993. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, remember that one. So then it was taken care of. Oh, he went real easy, like, if uh, that's of any comfort to you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, it is. I assume you do send the complete set of remains, because according to the state code... We send every flake and crumb, absolutely. ...didn't get mixed up with any other ashes, I hope. Oh, heaven for fan, no. That's why the furnace is vacuum-emptied after every procedure. 
Is there a problem with the remains, I mean? Do you have a reason to think there might be? I run me a pretty tight ship here. Sure there wasn't a dog overboard recently? to let you teach me how to drive. You mind telling me what you're doing here? Dad, I can help you. I discovered something in the ashes. The ashes? Something that proves Ace might be alive. Julia. First, I found a teeny tiny tooth in the ashes that couldn't have come from a dog bigger than a beagle, for sure not from Ace. And then you know how his weight is always exactly the same? Yeah. Well, I did a simple dry weight, wet weight conversion on his so-called ashes, and it turns out it didn't at all jive with his 122 pounds. But then the head guy at the police dog clinic said that he definitely sent every last bit of Ace's ashes. Wait a minute. You spoke to the clinic in Spokane? Yeah. And then I checked the state civil code on the web, and sure enough, the law is that they absolutely have to send all of the ashes to you. All of which makes me wonder whose ashes are in this container. What? We did dry weight, wet weight conversions three chapters ago. You are a very smart, very precious young lady. You know that? Yes. Which is why... Which is why you are going to stay in this car until I get back. But I'm... What about the ashes? I, good work. Very good police work. But it's not proof. That vet guy up in Spokane, he was a lazy jerk. And just because he didn't follow the state civil code doesn't necessarily mean that Ace is alive. It just means that that guy was a lazy jerk. Okay, now you stay here until I get back, okay? Excuse me, you boss Crowder? Yeah. Officer Dan Harding. You spoke on the phone? I want to follow up a little bit about Mike Torco. Does he have any uh, unexplained absences, anything like that? Well, he does his stints all right, but I had any problem with him as far as showing up goes. But? Got himself quite a temper. Gets into more than his share of arguments. But to be him, he's one wicked mechanic. You happen to have uh, a work schedule for him? Where he's been here and he hasn't been here for the last three months? Sure. Okay. Don't tell me. You came to ask Boss Crowder for a job. Well, you're better off taking an after hours night watchman gig than working here. I mean, with all the rip saws and metal pressers, you can get awful dangerous. Bow wow. Mom, 
Mom, where's today's paper? They're all here with today's. Well, I've got it right here, honey. Nuh-uh, that's for your dad. You can read it after him. But I need it for my stupid social studies class. Later. Right now, your dad and I are having a romantic brunch out on the patio. How do you spell yuck? Same way you spell get lost, kid. Hilarious, really and truly. <laughs> Apple smoked, your favorite. And I know you don't like pulp, so I strain the OJ, because wouldn't you know what the only OJ they had at the store? Lily. What? I'm sorry, I've been spoiling the party lately. I don't know what I would do without you. Don't you forget it, mister. I couldn't possibly forget it. County Sheriff's Department, may I help you? Hi. Hey. Um, I'm just calling about the new canine you just hired. I, I mean, found. You know. <laughs> Excuse me? The canine. The police dog. It was in the paper. <sighs> what about it? Does the dog have a little round hole in his ear? You sort of have to check to the back of the ear to see it. <laughs> well, I would certainly have no idea. Well, could you, like, go look? It's a bullet hole, actually, from when he saved my dad. Uh. Now, I can't just stroll away from my board and uh, go look. Because they've taken that dog to get distemper shots, city permit papers, and Lord knows what all else. So, um, why don't you just call back on Monday? All right, sugar? Well... <sighs> Dad, let's go! Go? To get Ace. Julia. Just look. Honey, 75% of all police dogs are German shepherds. Yeah, but look at him. It's Ace. I know it's him. And he even says how they're all amazed that he has all these natural police dog abilities. It's natural because he is a police dog, not a stray. Honey, it also says that the dog in question is a she, not a he. Oh, well, that dumb reporter probably just made a mistake. I mean, you're always saying how the newspapers are always getting details wrong in their stories and stuff. OK, look, why don't we give him a call? I already did. I asked this lady if she would check if there was a little round hole in their canine's ear, and she couldn't because she said they were out getting the dog shots and getting permits. And anyway, she was treating me like I was some flaky little kid. Can't we just drive out there and see? Honey, that's all the way out in. Please. I've always dreamed of visiting beautiful downtown Wenatchee. Thanks, Daddy. All right, let me just go grab my... Right. All right, I'll go tell your mother that we're going for a trip. Why don't you pack us up some... Thought of everything, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go. Lo siento que tuviste que oler eso. Pero vas a sentir más cómodo aquí en el garaje. Te va a gustar esa comida también. Ok, yo sé que tienes hambre. Sit, 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 sit. Sit down. Good boy. Ok. Mira eso, ¿eh? Just take your time. Que tienes hambre, eh? Oye. Honey, why don't you just kick back and rest a little bit? We're going to find out soon enough, ok? Yeah, like I'm in a rest when all I can think about is we're only 24 minutes away from seeing Ace, assuming you're going 60 miles an hour. 55. Okay, fine. 26. I'll rest the extra two minutes. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm just a little bit concerned that you're going to be disappointed if it turns out that 
Why, you know. You don't believe me, do you? I believe that you think Ace is alive. I know he's alive. Dad, you believe Ace never attacked Torco, even though we have no proof, right? Yeah, honey, that's different. You know I'm right. Dad, you always said that there are important things you can't see or touch, but you should have faith anyway. Like love, you said. Remember when I had to say that line in the Sunday school pageant, but I kept flubbing it? Yeah, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Well, if I can have faith that Ace is alive, why don't you? And Dad? Yeah? Thanks for loving Mom again. I saw you kissing on the patio this morning. You were making up for when you didn't kiss her, right? <laughs> I guess so. Anyway. Listen, honey, I, I wanted to apologize to you for something. Remember when you were trying to tell me that you were sorry about what happened with Ace in the cabinet? It's okay. No, no, it is not okay. I raised you to accept an honest apology, and I was wrong not to accept yours. I'm sorry. A couple of weeks ago, right? You and the uh, el perro. ¿Cómo se llama el perro? Uh, the dog. Oh, Ace. Ace. S-O-S. Ace. You and Ace are a very famous pair around these parts. Yeah, just like Sherlock and Holmes. You were one person. Okay. Um, if the dog turns out to be Ace, I hope he hasn't been too much trouble to care for. No, 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 hombre, para nada. No. I'm keeping him up back in the garage for his own safety. Sabes, yo sabía cuando vi a ese animal que fue un perro muy, muy especial. I know he was a highly trained canine dog who was maybe lost or stolen or something. <laughs> but of course, we get all kinds of lost creatures that come through these parts. Una vez me acuerdo, a Vietnamese pot belly pig just came sashing up to my desk. <laughs> Does he have a little round hole in his ear? Ooh, the pig? <sighs> no, no, what she means is if the dog is ace, then he'll have a, a hole in the base of his left ear, a bullet hole. Oh. No. No. Oh. No, I don't recall seeing anything like that. I do recall one time, however, I saw a heifer with an arrow stuck halfway through her. Can we see him now, please? Ace, I mean. Uh, we, we just had a, we've had a long trip, and we're really anxious to see if the dog is, in fact. Of course, I'm, I, I'm so sorry. I, you, you're on your business, and here I'm just talking nonstop. Yuckety, 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 yuckety. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yes, by all means, please. Please, thank you. I went back to bed around, get a couple of pounds of ground chuck for the poor dog. Okay, because he looked so hungry. I thought maybe he was homeless or something, you know, the way he was looking at me and but El Pedro. Well, no.
gone. Sorry about the delay, officer. Shouldn't be too long. Tax dollars at work, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What exactly is going on up there? Ah, just more cars. More cars, wider highways. Every time I drive up this way, there's something going on. Well, hopefully this will be the last time, huh? Give it a couple of years and you'll be able to zip through. All right. Take it easy. Good day. Ace? What do you mean, Ace? In that convertible! Ace! I don't, I don't see anything. Turn around! Follow him! Honey, I, I can't turn around. We're bumper to bumper here. He just waved at me. He waved at you? Never mind. Just turn around. We've got to find that tow truck. Tow truck? Honey, you just said convertible. No, no, no. The convertible was being towed by the tow truck. It was definitely Ace. He waved at me. I'm not lying. I'm not. I saw him. I Isn't it possible, Ace. though, honey, that you just... Imagine it? Yeah. No way. Sweetheart, remember how sleepy you were getting? And I told you to rest and you didn't want to, but you were falling asleep right there. I think you were asleep. Maybe you were dreaming it, honey, and you thought it was real. It just seems so... so vivid. I don't know. Sweetheart, why don't you just lay back down and go to sleep, okay? He could be our mascot. <laughs> did some calculations. It just doesn't make sense that he hasn't gotten here yet. I mean, 
He was 18 miles away from our house when I saw him on the highway four days ago. You and your calculations. He could have gone to the police station, but somebody's always there, and for sure they would have seen him, and besides... Sweetie. He's out there, somewhere. I can feel it. I just... I haven't figured out where. Maybe it's time to accept certain facts. I don't like your facts. I'm gonna tell you something very important. I know you think you're helping Dad when you tell him that Ace is coming home, but you're not. You're just making it harder for him. But Ace is alive. No, he's not. He's gone. Honey, when Dad looks into your eyes and sees what you believe, well, naturally he wants to believe it too. He can't help it. The truth is, Ace is gone. No. Yes. And it's a truth that we have to face, all of us, together. So let's help Dad. Let go of Ace and move on. No. Honey, it's what he needs from us. Sorry to bring you in on a uh, Saturday. Something you need to see. Frank Burgess just sent this over. Okay, look, there's there's Torco. And here comes Ace. Now look, Torco grabs the post with the barbed wire, and at first he's just fending Ace off. Now here's the part. Now watch what Torco does with that barbed wire. Look at him, he's slashing himself in the neck. It wasn't Ace biting him at all. See, he's, he's cutting himself to shreds. Okay, now, watch Torco hurl the barbed wire into the river, exactly where you found it. And look at Ace, he's just trying to clamp down on the guy's forearm. Standard takedown, clear as day. I'm sorry, Dan. You're sorry? Sorry. I just figured it out, Kenny. Ace has unfinished business. Your dog is my PS3 game? No, no. I found your game all right, but when I saw the title, I realized that that's what Ace has with Torco. Unfinished business. He framed Ace and almost got him killed. And Ace is zeroing in on Torco before he comes home to us. Maybe. It makes perfect sense, don't you see? It's in his blood to get his man. Where are you? I'm gonna stake out his house. How do you even know where he lives? I found his home address in my dad's crime report. Hey, you wanna join my stakeout? I have a soccer playoff in like five minutes, but I'll be home by 12.30. Julia, be careful. Call me later. I'm not leaving until I find Ace.
Fuck. Don't you want to know who won the playoff? Okay, Kenny, fine. Who won? We lost. 5-2. But guess who scored the first goal? Congratulations, Mr. Beckham. Listen, I really need my evidence book. Do you think you could stop by my house and bring it? It's on my night table. I'm at 749 Dickens Street. And you know that Alm website you wanted me to check out for you? Yeah. Pretty interesting stuff here. Like? Like, listen to this. Mixed with acetic acid. Common alum is also used by metal manufacturers and the petroleum industry for high-speed drill bit lubricant. Didn't you say it works a big drill press at the chopper place? Yeah, and I saw him squirt something on it too, a milky liquid. Cool. Could be a link. I'm gonna take a closer look around his house. Wait, don't do anything until I get there. I'm just gonna see what I can see through the windows and stuff. What if he's there? He just left with his lunchbox, which means he won't be back for at least a few hours, right? 749 Dickens? Don't forget my evidence book. Got it. Bye. I've seen that footage of you and that and the cop dog on TV and all, so I thought maybe you want a rematch. <laughs> Only this time it might be a little more even. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Too bad I'm allergic. Hey. What you got there? Nothing, man. It was a stupid joke. Oh dear. Your jacket pocket. Get out. Say get out. I told you, I can't have no thief up in my shop. I told you that from the get-go. Don't expect no letter recommendation. I don't need a thing from you. Wow. Mm, hot bike. Hey, man. Get your hands off my... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
It's me. Call me as soon as you get this because I just checked out Torco's house and you're never gonna believe it. I found a bunch of stuff that will for sure help you link him to the crime scenes and everything. Anyway, I'm just getting home now, so please, please, please get here soon so I can show you. Okay, thanks, Dad. Bye. Hey, you. I'm on my way to Dickens, but I didn't get your... No. You're where? I can't hear you. This guy totally sucks. I said I'm home now, but guess what? Man, I must miss you. He's out there like five minutes ago to get your evidence book, but no one answered the door or anything, so then... Guess what I found inside his house? You went inside? Links to the crime scene, that's what. Alum powder, a glass cutter, the glass cutter, I'll bet. I've got tons of pictures on my digital camera to show my dad. I mean, it was totally creepy. The guy probably bolts his dirty laundry in alphabetical order. Thing. I, I can't hear you. I must be in a bad cell area or something. Tell me what your dad says when you show him everything. Okay. Hey, is your dad cycle? What? Uh, you're breaking up. Your dad. There was a motorcycle parked alongside your house. What do you mean a motorcycle? Kenny! You, you, you're breaking Kenny. up. Bye. I'm sure your mistake. Mom, please. Just trust me. <sighs> my cell phone's in my room. There's a phone here. like to take pictures of things that don't belong to you. Say cheese. <laughs> said way longer it's 23 minutes past how long they said it would take honey we're all worried but i was right though wasn't i ace was alive all along and he came back home to us i always knew he would well we had a few bad moments back there the glass shard caused his left lung to collapse, and if we hadn't have gotten that chest tube in there on time, 
Anyway, his lung is already re-expanding nicely and there were no major vessel tears. Does that mean he's okay? Well, he'll need time to heal, of course, but he'll be fine. He's a strong dog. <laughs> wow. Dad, maybe you and Ace will be able to go to the K-9 national competition this year. You'd only have 97 days to get ready, but... No. You and Ace would only have 97 days to get ready. 98, if you count today. He? Yeah, well, somebody has to handle him, right? Excuse me, folks. He'll be under for a while yet, but you could come on back if you want to see him. Great. Don't you want to go see him? Dad? Uh, the doctor said he's going to be just fine, sweetheart. No, just... Thanks. should go away this weekend. What how would the entire canine unit fit into our car? <laughs> no, just you and me. I'm sure they'll be fine without me for a few days. Anywhere you want to go. Vancouver, Victoria, Tofino. Tahiti. Tahiti for the weekend? Uh, Tahiti works for me. Really? Come here, boy. Come here. 